you want to write your own custom functions in Google Sheets, then follow along as I create my own converter function. In our sheet, we have our distances in kilometers and want to convert these values into miles. So we head over to the script editor so that we can start creating our own custom function to do so. There is some default naming convention that we have to be aware of, but first let's give this project a name and let's also rename this placeholder function. You can name this whatever you want to, it just cannot be the, the same name of an already existing Google Sheets function. And the default way to write your function, the information that will appear when someone writes it is exactly like this. So you start out writing like so, and you give a bit more of information concerning the function, what it does, like converts kilometers to miles. And now you also add information about the parameters that need to be passed in in order for this function to work. So we already know we're gonna work somehow with an input that's gonna be of data type number. And what we're going to return is the following, the input converted to miles. And we're going to say this is a custom function. So this is information for the person who will be using that function. And now we're actually writing the function. So we will take in an input and we will return that input multiplied by the number you see here. We save it. And now it's time to test it. That you obviously do in the sheet itself. So just like any other function, you start out with the equal symbol. And there you go, our convert to miles input. And now you see that information we added, that's where it um, figures, that's where the people using that function will be able to read how it works. So we choose our input cell C2, hit enter and loading. It sometimes does this with custom functions. So let's try this again. Let's just go ahead into that cell and just delete this, the input, and just now write C2. I'm doing this manually on the keyboard. There you go. So now it worked. And now we can just, you know, apply this custom functions also to the other th cells and perfect. Let's create a flexible function that can either convert two kilometers or two miles. And for that, we're going to write a second custom function. So just below our previous function, again, we have, or we should, it's good practice to, you know, give more information about this function just the way we did before. So stating what it does, what for inputs it will be using. So the parameters here, number, this time I chose to call it distance the value to convert. And the second thing we will be needing, and I chose to use a string and call this unit, meaning that when you use this custom function, you can choose to either convert to kilometers or to miles, depending on what string you pass in. The way that string has to be written, we'll see when we're actually writing out the function. Oh, and in this case, I omitted to define the return, but it would be good practice if you would do that. But just to keep this nice and simple and fast, let's say, or we define that we will take in two parameters, one being the distance and the other the unit. Let's just create a little bit more space here so that you see this better as I'm typing. And now, we, since this has to be flexible, we need to react to the input, to the unit that is passed in. So we're saying if someone passes in the unit of KM, in that case, we are assuming they want whatever distance value they have to be outputted as kilometers. So we're using the calculation to, in this case, very specifically, calculate miles into kilometers. And now it's the other way around. So kilometers into miles. And you say I'm, I'm using unit instead of kilometers and miles just to keep it flexible because it could be units uh, of kilometers, but also of miles. And we're also using an else statement just to say if someone's feeling funny and typing in something else than KM or MI that we just retell, return null. 
Let's try this out. So here we have miles and we want to convert to kilometers. So we say convert to unit. We choose our distance, which is in D2. And then we have to make sure to use the double quotes and write in KM and that will convert that unit into kilometers or the other way around the distance into kilometers. So we just drag that down. We're applying that to the other cells as well. And now we have kilometers and want to want to convert it to miles. So it's the other way around. We choose our distance and then we say MI because we want to convert to miles. There you go. Drag that down to apply that to the other cells. And what happens if someone's feeling a little bit funny and we're just writes in something? In that case, we set return null. We don't want to apply kilometers nor miles. What useful custom function have you created? Let me know in the comment section below. And hey, before you go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of our future video tutorials.